All right, in this example, this is project six, we're gonna be looking at the door in a different manner. In this case, we're gonna be using collides to open the door. So for project six, all you need to do is copy project five, just like I showed you in one of the previous example videos. Okay, and then you just open it up and you should have project six. All right, so we're gonna add a couple more things to the equation up here. Let's say I took this box right here and I put it in front of this door. Okay. What the ideal situation would be is if I was in the area of this box, I could open the door. Or if I was in the area of the box, the door would automatically open. All right. To do that, what we do is have to write a script. Okay, and I think I'll call this script door collide open. Oops. All right, now this script is a lot shorter than the previous example. So, but, you know, there's advantages and disadvantages to both, of course. This one's, this one's got a lot of advantages to it, though. Okay, so, veritable door. So, make this very easy for anybody that is using this script. Okay. Um, we're still going to need the angle open and angle close for the calculations. Okay, just like that. And we're also going to need the rate of speed it opens. Just like that. All right, this is not a function update. It's a function update on trigger okay and there's many classes to on trigger there's on trigger exit on trigger stay on trigger uh, enter and I'll show you the variations of what they do this is probably the most used thing in most video games uh, for doors and everything else when a person walks into a situation, they walk into a box that you just don't see in the video game. Okay, there we go. All right, so what we're gonna do is ask a question, and the question's always gonna be if. If this door, period, because I brought it into the script using this transform. Door period transform period local elure angles period y is less than angle open, do something. And in this something, I'm going to take in door period transform period rotate vector three period up times time period delta time times the speed of open. 
that is what is going to happen. All right. So that's what's going uh, Let's see what happened. Uh, just as long as I stay within the box. Think of that as stay within the box. Okay. So I'll save that out. And in the next video, let's apply it to my object and turn it into a trigger.